I'm going to make polenta. Polenta is a firm loaf of cornmeal that was cooked as mush or like grits kind of, except finer. So kind of like a mush, like oatmeal. And you cook that and then you put it in a buttered loaf pan and put it in the fridge and it, once it forms up you slice it into slices and fry it and use it as your base for spaghetti if you can't handle uh, gluten. So the recipe is, I just, you can get um, polenta, dry polenta, but it's kind of expensive and you can just use cornmeal. I just use cornmeal because it's just cheaper. So to three cups of water, you get it boiling and then you add your one cup of cornmeal, a little bit of salt, and you're going to want a little bit of oil in your pot because otherwise when it starts to foam and boil up, it'll boil over. So it's it gets quite bubbly and it hurts. So I need to move this, the pan over to a cooler part of the stove so that it'll stop doing that. Once it boils, you want to turn it down to a low heat. You can see how thick it's become. And it needs to get a lot thicker than this. What you're trying to do is get it to a very, very thick consistency so that it's kind of chunky. It, the, the pudding itself won't be chunky, but it will be, um, I wouldn't say difficult to stir, but it, it won't look like oatmeal anymore. It'll look, it'll have peaks and valleys and it'll be like, it'll be about the consistency of mashed potatoes. Stir constantly or else the bottom will burn. Part of what you're doing as you stir it is that's helping remove the water out of it, helping the water evaporate. You can see it's getting thicker. Almost there. Don't do this. It's like frying. Don't do this with small children around because it does spit and it is very hot when it spits. This one is a good size for my family. You can also use regular loaf pans, but you just grease it up and that way once the loaf has firmed up, you can just pop it out. I just popped it out of its uh, container that I had it in the fridge. It's a solid loaf, so now I will slice it and I will fry it. It's best with a little bit of butter and uh, don't try to turn it until the one side is brown, otherwise it sticks. It's best crispy in thin slices about half an inch thick and then once they're cooked solid through you put cheese on them and then you put your spaghetti sauce on them. Or the other thing I like to do is for breakfast, I will fry, uh, saute them, fry them in the butter, and then put a slice of cheese on and then a slice of bacon. This is what it looks like sliced. If you didn't chill it long enough, the pieces fall apart. Otherwise, they hold a really nice shape. Lard works a lot better for this frying than butter. It took not quite a tablespoon to do one pan full. The, the heat just seems to do better than with butter. With butter it sticks. And a big pot of spaghetti sauce. Once this side is done, I flip it, put some cheese on top. I prefer that they brown a little bit more, but I have a hard time staying ahead of everybody during this particular meal. It's not really a meal you can sit down for because it you eat it quick. It has to, you have to kind of monitor it. So there's the cheese on top. And now I transfer it to plates and put the sauce on. So, um, we we are eating polenta. It's homemade polenta from our mom. And how is it? Good. Good. Just good? I think it's cool. He makes Great. everything extra. It's really good. With cheese and, um, and the sauce. And what did you say, Kaya? It is very good if you want to eat this. You could just let my mom make it for you. <laughs> Thanks, Annie. Good job.